Hello, men. We're continuing to talk about that importance of winning in secret. Men, I'm just going to tell you something. We looked at yesterday the fact that before David ever, ever faced Goliath, he had to beat the lion and the bear in secret when no one was looking. You know, I tried to get through that real quickly yesterday. But when David stood before King Saul and King Saul was saying, how can you go out against this champion, this, this great giant named Goliath? And David said, because I beat the lion and the bear when no one was looking. And men, the key, I don't care how many times you've been beaten. I don't care how many times it seems like you have failed. But I'm here to tell you, if you can win in secret, you've, if you can learn to, to win that battle when no one is looking, and then I'm going to tell you, you're going to begin to beat the Goliaths in your life. So we're just taking a look at that. And I'm just sort of laying a foundation because sometimes we as men, we focus on the, you know, the battle or, you know, whatever that thing might be that we have to deal with in our lives. But I'm, I'm trying to encourage you in the fact, if we can learn some of the disciplines, some of the things that we can do in secret and learn to win in secret when no one is looking, there's going to come a time that you're going to win in public. And Jesus even said this, you know, I mean, in Matthew chapter 6, basically Jesus, and he said it three different ways. He talked about doing charitable deeds, not, not doing them to be seen in public, but yet if you'll do it in private, he said that the father who sees in secret will reward you openly. He talked about prayer the same way. And he says, if you pray to your father in that secret place, the father who sees in the secret place will reward you openly. And then he even talked about fasting. If you'll, if you'll fast in secret, the father who sees in secret will reward you openly. You see, if I could say it this way, private victories lead to public victories. Men, if we can learn what it takes to win privately when no one else is looking, when the wife's not looking, when the kids aren't looking, if we can learn what it takes to win in private, Jesus said we'll be rewarded openly or publicly, we'll see that public victory. So I'm just laying a foundation for some of the things we're gonna look at. Men, I believe, I don't care how many times you've fallen. I was looking at a verse this morning that said this, don't rejoice over me, mine enemies, though I've fallen, yet will I rise. And also in, in, in Proverbs, it says a righteous man may fall seven times, but the Lord will raise him up. I don't care how many times you've failed. We're gonna learn some things on how to win in secret and you're getting back up and you are going to be a champion.